So the war continues, and it's going better than I expected. Despite Scott having learned a lot of things, I might be able to pull this off. So one thing that's interesting is Scott built this citadel, which is fine. I'm going to build a citadel to overtake it, and then another citadel, because I think that's all his great generals. And I have two great generals. It looks like he just barely killed this swordsman. And he didn't have any units free left to take this great general. So that actually is a huge boon. It means that he spent seven or eight attempts, because I know he replaced his turns over and over again, trying to take this great general, and he couldn't. And he left it there. That's a good sign. That implies that he does not have any more military than what I've already seen him display. So the other thing that's really good for me is that despite him putting a citadel here, this is a pretty heavy choke point. So he can't really easily bring a lot of arms to bear. Also, some moderately powerful barbarians are hanging out up here, which are no threat to me, because you might have noticed this city, other than this one plantation here and this one lumber mill, has got jack all for improvements. And I didn't need any improvements because, as you might recall, it's not showing the stuff for whatever reason, this is Lake Victoria. I let the city grow gigantic with a combination of a caravan coming into it, sending food from Thebes, and Lake Victoria, which provides like six or eight food, I think six, yep, six, and doesn't require any improvements. So I made the city pointedly not useful to assault, because one of the things that I do when I assault a city is I pillage everything around it while I'm assaulting to keep my catapults and such alive and fighting. Scott does not have that luxury. So let's see, I just have to advance wars this, and as long as I can destroy at least one of his units per round and get another one. I need to destroy about 1.6 units per turn, let's say. And then I'll be able to destroy his fighting force before he can whittle the city down enough to actually take it. And if, if these barbarians move in and give him some trouble there, that'll give me what I need because I can actually produce units pretty quickly. So see, I just finished a uh, spearman here. And I can have another swordsman done in two turns. Or a spearman in one turn. Do I just crank out a bunch of spearmen? Or do I wait for the swordsman? I'm just going to crank out a bunch of spearmen. So I'll have another one next turn. That's a pretty good deal. So how can I do the most damage to Scott here? Well, first, I'm at negative six happiness. That's not great. So let's get a garrison here to reduce that to negative five. And let's see what I can do. That catapult I can just take out with this catapult. Now a citadel is mostly useless. Alright. That knight is wounded. That knight's wounded more. I'd rather take out the knight that's wounded more. Because I just want to hurt somebody. Now annoyingly, I just finished the swordsman. But I can't attack with him from the city. Just because of the way the game works. So I gotta just move him somewhere pleasant and out of the way. Let's see. I could really work on this guy, or I could work on this knight. This guy or the knight. The knight's already wounded. He's actually not that much of a danger to me. Taking this guy out would be pretty good. Start going after this guy. Because if I go to the ranged units, that pretty much ends his assault. I can't quite finish that guy off. Oh, well, maybe I can with the swordsman, even over the river. Alright, not too shabby. That guy's probably going to die now. See, I'd love to just attack right here, but I can't. So I'm going to move this guy here. Nope, actually I wanted him to stay in the city. I want to move this guy here. And let's just get you out of the line of fire. I want you to start doing some useful stuff. Oh, I forgot I got my chariot archer here. He's not that weak. That's looking a lot better. And I got this Spearman. Who can't attack anything yet. But I can just get him up to the front line and ready. 
of another Spearman in one turn. And what can I build here? Can't build anything super quick. Well, just in case, I should start with something that'll finish relatively quickly. So that's the quickest unit I can build. So I might as well just build another Spearman. That, all told, not too bad of a turn. I'm going to move this guy back onto the full health Spearman, rather than build a citadel. Though actually, building a citadel like right here, or even right here, right here would be perfect. Because I've got the mountains protecting me. If I leave, the, if I put the citadel here, it can attack these planes easily. There's no way around the citadel, except at considerable cost. And that would sort of funnel an attack straight across this plane. Which means I could just build a wall of forts here and man it, and I'd be good to go. Might as well keep the wall up. That's a pretty good turn. I don't think I can do much better than that.